it's a creature shrouded in mystery. Accepted wisdom has it that the thylacine, or Tasmanian tiger, was hunted to extinction in Tasmania in the 1930s. Experts say it's been extinct on the Australian mainland for much longer, 4,000 years. But recently, extraordinary sightings of strange thylacine-like creatures have fueled the mystery. Animal X headed out from Perth in Western Australia to speak to those who claim to have seen the elusive Tasmanian tiger. It had a real buffy looking head with a longer snout and it was very solid looking at him. I'm quite convinced now that uh, I saw a thylacine. More than convinced, I know it's there. I'm sure there were some stripes and the tail was looking a bit like a... Oh, sort of a stick-like tail. Definitely had stripes on its back. Barbara Farmer didn't know it at the time, but she may have snapped the best proof yet that the Tasmanian tiger is alive and well and living in Australia. You don't pull up to take a photo of a fox or a dog. It was something that I'd never seen before. And that's why I took the photo of it. Athol Douglas is one of those who firmly believes the thylacine is not extinct. After a life's work with the Western Australian Museum, he spends his retirement trying to prove the Tasmanian tiger is still out there. Hundreds of people have seen it. An awful lot of people have not been able to face up to the possible ridicule if they do report it. Certainly not a dog. The head's right for a thylacine. Animal X asked him to take a look at Barbara Farmer's picture. Now that's a thylacine, by Christ it is. You don't have to convince this woman. Sharon West runs the mysterious animal research group. Well, it's genuine for a start, and I truly believe that what she saw was a thylacine. Sharon West now spends her spare time driving around the bush investigating sightings. Farmer Linda Inglekey was driving along a lonely outback road when she stumbled on a strange looking animal crossing in front of her. There was only one creature that fitted the description. She says it was a Tasmanian tiger. I definitely am sure it was a thylacine. It's dawn at New Norcia, the only operating monastery in Australia. It's the home to a dozen or so Benedictine monks. Head monk Abbot Placid says the thylacine has been sniffing around his monastery for years. It was a very curious thing but, uh, to, to hear that the animal had been sighted uh, in the monastery. But then uh, monasteries have been around for a long time and a lot of funny things have happened in them over the years. Tony James has had one of those funny experiences. It was almost 5 a.m. when he was getting ready to leave the monastery for the two hour drive to the city. I walked along the, the veranda on the northern cloister and turned into what we call the communications room. The room is very well lit at all times. Uh, the fluorescent lights are left on right through the night. We both froze and um, he looked at me in, in quite a fearless way and uh, really uh, I sensed that he was just simply filled with curiosity at the sighting. The animal turned a tail and ran into the darkness of the pre-dawn cloisters. 
some of the brethren at the time were for setting traps to catch the thing and others were saying, no, if it's a, a creature of God, it's meant to be free and shouldn't be trapped anyway. It would have been easy for the monks to trap the thylacine as it had become accustomed to entering the monastery at night. The reason we think is that one of the elderly Spanish monks here each afternoon feeds the magpies chicken scraps and uh, meat off cuts and a variety of things. 